guys welcome back or welcome my name is Lisa and today I have a stitch fix for you um, I'm a little bit worried about this box because I didn't leave a styling note I have I was in Virginia Beach for a national wrestling tournament with my son so um, I kind of forgot to leave a note so I don't know if I'm gonna get my styles back I don't know what is going to happen I've been wanting to peek and peek and peek on the app because I know that you can do that. I've never done that before, but I thought I'll just be surprised and hopefully all goes well, right? So let's just get right into it and see what I got. Oh, I see a shoe bag. I haven't got a shoe bag in a while. Mailer to return your stuff. Styling card. Saying they do the little undergarments now. Let's see if I have. I do still have my Vic, Victoria, my my normal stylist, so that's good. So that's kind of what I was worried about because I think that Victoria and I have just started like really melding well together. So, oh, well these are okay. So we have a pair of Tom flip flops. Has the little balls on them. Um, I think these are adorable. I don't know if these are for necessarily for me I'd probably be afraid I've had shoes that have like sequins stitched onto them and stuff like that and I always feel like they fly off and you're and you're left with a pair of shoes that isn't completely how they're supposed to be so there's my stuff I'm liking this wondering what that is it's looking kind of nice so it's ripping look at this stuff and then get to trying it all on oh they're a pair of pants okay wondering if these will be long enough they're kind of, they're very see-through I don't know that you guys can see that but I can see you guys through the camera they have butterflies and birds on them with a little bit of flower so we'll We'll see. Looks like a sham, like a chambray shirt, long sleeve chambray shirt. I do like this detailing up at the top. That's cute. Silver buttons. Just some cheap plastic silver buttons. It is one of those tabs that you can roll, and it does have distressing there, going around the bottom, all the way around towards the front there worth a try okay and now we have a ruffly sleeveless shirt some tassels in the front this could be cute the only thing I'm worried about is the bra part because it's more of that rounded neck at the top and the back kind of goes in so I don't think I would be able to wear a normal bra with this but the weight is very nice and it is just a shell over I'm having a problem here today, guys. Just a shell going over the uh, layering piece there. So it's a nice, it's a nice thick piece, and I don't think you would have to wear anything under it. Unlike I think this one, this looks cute. Just a little white, little white tank, a little bit of detailing there, and the ruffle part does go onto the back. Um, Stitch Fix exclusive, it looks like. This is very see-through, so you would have to wear something under this. You can see the tag through it. But it's overall cute. It has the little, little bib feature with the pleated kind of stuff, a little bit of eyelet, and then a little bit of the ruffle with the eyelet running through the ruffle. With the ruffle lace. And yeah, looks like that is it. Those were my five items. So let's get to trying this stuff on. Okay, so here is shirt number one. It's the chambay shirt. Um, it does have the tab sleeve with the little silver buttons here. A little bit distressing up here on the back and then all the way around the bottom of the shirt. It is a high-low as well. I do really love the embroidery on it. Um, I think that gives it a nice little pop that most don't have. The only thing that's concerning me or maybe that I'm not particularly liking that much is the distressing that's going all the way around the bottom um I can't decide if I like that or not so we will see um I believe it, this shirt is $78 I kind of peeked at the prices 
to kind of get, give you guys what I know as I'm trying it on. And then as always in the description, I'll, play, I'll put the uh, brand name, the style name, and the price listed below. So in case you guys want to request it for yourselves. So this is shirt number one. Okay, so here is top number two, the tassel top. Um, you could, you a normal bra, you would see the straps, but you could probably wear like a bralette or one of the bras that do the cross on the back, and you would be fine. It is very low cut. Woo, wowsy wowsy. And it does have double tassels, which I did not recognize that or notice that when I um, pulled it out of the box. So I guess you could double tie it or not double tie it. But you have four sets of tassels here. I don't think that this one is horrible. I, I kind of like it. I don't remember the price on this one. So I'll leave that in the description box and tell you guys um, in my final thoughts what it is. Because this could be a contender. The only thing I'm concerned about is how low cut it is. Because it is quite, it's quite low cut. So there it is in its glory. I do like that it's nice and loose. And I love that it has the double shell because it's not see-through and it's it's nice and airy, but it's covering and not letting anybody see your bits. So there we go on that one. So I think I'm just gonna try the white top on with the pants and we'll see how those two go together since they, they're not gonna match together. I think it's gonna be overwhelming, but we'll get to it. Okay guys, here way. is the Tom Tom uh, slipper with the pom-poms on it. I only tried on one because the other one was packaged really nicely and I knew that I wouldn't be keeping them. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a look to see, or so that you could see kind of how thick it went across the foot area up there. Um, I actually thought they they were going to be a little bit thinner on my foot, so thought you guys would be interested in knowing. So there's that one. Okay, here it is. I'm not thrilled about either of these pieces. This whole ruffle thing, um, I don't think looks attractive when you have a bigger bust, or at least on me, it doesn't look attractive on for me with my bigger bust. But um, here it is for you guys. See how it kind of, and I know that that will flatten out, but even if it was flattened out, I just, I don't know. This one's not for me. And the pants, also not for me. Um, I don't even know what to say about the pants. But I feel like I'm wearing my pajamas and I just could not go out in them. I think, I don't think the material is horrible and I don't think the pattern is like horrible. Maybe if it was in more of like a skirt, maybe that would fit me a little bit um, or fit my style a little bit better. But pants wise, they're just not. Now I can't say they are long enough, which is like surprising to me. I don't know about when I washed them, they probably wouldn't be. But I think that this whole thing is probably a no-go. So I'll give you one more peek around. Now I don't know if you can see the bottom of the pants from in here. I can't see that far, but um. They're just a wide leg pant all the way down with a elastic waistband. So there it is. So I'll get back to you guys with my final thoughts. Okay guys, so that was an interesting try on. Um, I don't think that she did a horrible job. I think all the clothes she sent were, were cute, just not necessarily for me. Um, I do have my invoice here and the, the total for my box this month was $318. If I buy all five, I get a 25% discount of $79.50 for a total of $238.50. So a little bit pricey. Um, it did make me smile. The pants were by Boom Boom Jeans, which I thought was kind of cute, and it kind of gave me a little a little bit of a laugh when I read that. Um, I think my two contenders, if I were to keep anything, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a zero out of five, um, would be the chambray top, because I really like that detail. I'd have to really think about if I like all of that distressing going mainly just around the bottom. I think if it was put throughout the shirt, I maybe would like it more um, and I can't remember the price on that I think it was close to $80 so that's probably gonna be a no anyway and then the tassel shirt navy blue tassel shirt I thought that one was really cute I did think that the flip-flops or the slip-ons or whatever you want to call them by Tom's were very cute it just concerns me with the pom-poms on it because I just feel one of them are gonna pop off and then it's gonna irritate me and I'm not gonna want to wear the shoe because I'll have like a missing part of the line of pom-poms. There'll be like one missing and that'll drive me a fruit loop. So um, that's my box for April. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you next time. I have a Wannable coming in. My trunk club will be coming in and I'm trying a new box that somebody had mentioned in my comments uh, called Natalie Attired. So that should be coming in shortly too. 
you guys can see what you think about that while I'm trying to see if what I think about that. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Please like and please subscribe. Have a good week. Bye-bye.